hi it's cake of kristen welcome back to my channel i am super excited because i am going to be reviewing all of lemonhead well not all of lemonhead's glitters but the ones that i bought and i actually purchased these from imats in january so it's been about 11 months now and i've been wanting to post a video on this i just haven't gotten the chance to but today is that day <laughs> showed me so much love on my Lemonhead tutorial and I think that's my most viewed video as of right now. I am number two on the list if you look up Lemonhead Glitter on YouTube so that's super exciting so thank you so much for that if you haven't seen it I'll link it right here up in the corner last year I went to IMATS which is a makeup trade show if you don't know that is held in Pasadena and that was actually my first time going to IMATS so it was super overwhelming super exciting and if you haven't seen that video I'll link it up here as well and in the description box below so I bought two of their glitters and three of them were gifted to me as samples. Actually, you know what? I think I bought three and two of them were gifted to me as samples. She packaged them for me in this little cute baggie right here. I think these are their space paste and they come in a little bottle like or in a little uh, tube like this. It doesn't say the names on the little tubes, but um, this is like a gold and it looks super thick. And it smells, to me it kind of smells like a hint of lemon and like fruity pebbles. <laughs> this is what it says on their website. Space paste is a full coverage, ultra thick concentrated glitter paste designed for artists use on the face and body. Its formula is unique and very easy to manipulate, making this the world's first mess-free glitter. Space paste dries quickly and stays in place for photo shoots and normal daily wear. Water reactivates its base for instant and easy removal so models love it. Space paste is infused with magic essential oils blessed by a Hollywood witch so each jar is filled with good vibes. So the second sample that was given to me was this color right here. Kind of a gold with um, green, blue, and purple. The green glitters are actually some bigger chunks in there which is pretty cool. This one is rose gold and this is the one that I used in my tutorial. Now these ones are a little bit pricey because it is an indie brand so they retail for $22. The two other glitters that I have are from their Lux Base Jam Squad. <laughs> so they come in a bigger tube. So just to compare, it's a lot bigger. And this one retails for, let's see, I think it was 25. Sorry, 32 was way off. But that makes sense because this one's 22. But I think at IMATS, I actually bought it for cheaper than 32 because it's a trade show. This one is Birthday Bitch. And I. I absolutely love this one. It's a beautiful pink and it has stars inside. It also has those bigger green glitters in there. Yeah, see, uh, I bought this for $24.95, but on the website, it's $32. The last color that I got is Paradise Beef. It's this gold with magenta and green glitters in them. It is so... Gorgeous. This one and Birthday Bitch have to be my favorite out of the ones that I bought. When I saw this, I had to get it. Just the colors speak to me. The glitters that come in the bigger tubes are for your hair and body, but I believe you can use them on your face as well. Okay, so let's get into the swatches. I'm sorry if you see some like sun peeping through and everything. The sun is going down right now. I haven't used the space paste that often or the space jams. Or, yeah, is that what it's called? Space Jam? <laughs> Lux or whatever it's called. But when I did use it, I kind of noticed that it was... It does say on the website that it is a thick glitter, but it's a little bit too thick for my taste. Um, and it can kind of get dry. I haven't tried putting any water in it, so maybe that might reactivate it, um, as it says on the website. I don't know if that's just a, a way that you can take off the glitter. I know you should not take the glitter off with a makeup wipe tried that and I had glitter just stick all over my face. Water is the best way to do it. So I'm looking on the website right now. I think this color is called Guild Beast. 
And I did uh, leave my lashes off because I wanted to test these on my eyes so you guys can see what it looks like. So when you pick it up, it, it kind of seems... Uh, well, when I first bought it, it was really moist, but I've had this for almost a year now, so it seems kind of moist. Maybe I just need to mix it, but it's kind of like a like a weird consistency, really thick. You can see that. Wow. Feels wet, obviously. On my hand right now, uh, it's really chunky. Kind of hard to blend out. See, as I'm blending it out, it kind of just, all of it goes with it. Um, and it doesn't blend, like, nicely. But this glitter, you can actually mold into a shape that you want. So say you wanted to do glitter for a festival or whatever, and you wanted it to be a heart. So you just can take a, a makeup tool. I'm just using my nail right now. The first time I tried this glitter, it took a little while to dry. But right now, maybe it's because it's been sitting in my drawers for a while. It dried super fast and it's kind of hard to mold. I know in Jeffree Star's video, they try to mold it after it dried. You should not mold it when it's already dried. You should mold it while it's wet because it will not move. Once it's there, it will not move. Um, but as you can see, I was able to mold it into like a little heart, shitty heart. But other than that, look at that shine. Super pretty. And I think it's perfect for festivals and holidays. This color with the purple and green specks in it. I don't know what this one is called. But let's swatch this one. Well, this one feels a little bit like wet sand with my brush. It's not as dry as the gold one. And they all have that particular smell. It kind of smells like cleaning product. How pretty that is. Wow. I've actually never used this one. Super pretty. I think the the green and purple specks really make a difference. This is like pure gold. This is more on like the yellow side. Now let's go into the rose gold. This one is super pretty, but I noticed that it was a little bit hard to blend out as well. And it has that same consistency as the last one. It's it's a little bit more moist than the gold and um, has like a sandy texture. Okay, this one so far went on the smoothest. Look at that. This one seemed a little bit dry when I was applying it. This one just went on. Oh my god, look at that intensity. That's crazy. I'm going to apply these ones with my finger and see if the consistency is different. So automatically when I dip into it, this is a lot more moist than the space paste. <laughs> yeah, this is going on really smooth. This one is really easy to spread around rather than these ones. These ones are really thick. And it is a little bit easier to blend out with your finger. So let me actually go into the space paste and try to apply that with my finger and see if it makes a difference. So I'm doing this color and I'll just do it right here. Definitely a lot easier to blend out with your finger. Now I'm going to go into Paradise Beef. And let's do this one with the brush. Yeah, this one is so pretty. It's a lot more, how do you explain, like moussey, it's moussier, a lot more moussier than the Space Pace. I am freaking in love with this one. If you get any of their glitters, Paradise Beef. Look at that. That is so gorgeous. This is all of them. I think this one is just like the most intense. It's like what my eye is drawn to. Let's now put some on the face. I'm gonna go in on this side with my finger and then I'll do this side with the brush. I'm gonna go in with the rose gold space paste. I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks. I'm trying to blend it out so it doesn't look like this huge blob on my face. Oh wow, that dried super fast. So that's like as best as I can blend it. I can't really do anything else now, but look at that glow. Wow. It's popping. But I wouldn't go outside like this unless I was going to a festival, you know what I mean? Too intense. Too, it's too out there for me. Let's go on this side. Let's do birthday bitch. Birthday bitch. I'm gonna go in with the brush. 
feels super cold. Oh my god, look how pretty those stars look. Wow, look at that. Oh. Definitely a lot easier to uh, apply with the brush, I think, with the space jams. My camera died, but I started applying Paradise Beef with my finger on this side. And it is just so intense and so beautiful. Doesn't sting or anything. It actually feels really cooling on the eye. Now this one does have bigger chunks of glitter in it, so you just want to be careful not to get them in your eye. And if you have um, hooded lids like me to where, um, see how the skin kind of goes over my lid like that? You just want to look down or close your eyes and let it dry before you look up. Otherwise, you might transfer some of the glitter up on the top of your lid where you don't want it to be. So I'm just going to let this dry. Look how perfectly I did this one of the star up on top. All right, this is still drying, but I'm just going to go ahead and apply on this side the yellow gold with the purple and green specks in it. And I'm going to do that with this brush right here. This is the Morphe M431 brush. Wow, it doesn't feel as thick when applying it with this brush. Actually, it feels really nice. Wow, that's beautiful. See, this one is just like, bam, all up in your face. And this one is more subtle, but still, you know, intense. The last one, um, let's see, I'm running out of places. Let's do... Actually, you know, you can use these on your lips too. So let me use this one on my lips. Just for some lip highlight. It feels really weird on the lips. <laughs> but what I do love about these glitters is that you don't need any glue. And a little bit goes a long way. This is actually going to last you quite a while. Unless you use glitter every single day, then maybe not. They say to use water or to use a dry brush and scrape it so it comes off. So let me just see. So I see some flakes coming off. Um, this is obviously going to take a while to take off. Water, I think, is your best route. Wow, it's all over my table. That's a mess. Yeah, do it in the shower. It'll go all down the drain and, and you won't have a mess on your drawer like me. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and show you what it looks like what you should not do because it will just spread around your whole face or i'll show you actually on my arms so i don't get glitter everywhere i'm going to just try to take these off there's a lot on there it's just so hard to get off though it it just won't come off let me bring you with me to the bathroom to show you how easily it comes off with water <laughs> So it's like all gone now. As you just saw, it's a lot easier to take these glitter off in water and not a makeup wipe. And the dry brushing didn't seem to help really either. It just made a mess all over the place. Overall, I really, really love, love, love these glitters. In love with the Space Jams. This gold one wasn't my favorite. It's the most drying, I feel like. Um, actually, you know what? I, I kind of got used to it on my lips now, but it's the most drying out of the ones that I tried. Maybe I need to add a little bit of water to it. Actually, you know what? Let me do that right now because I got a water bottle right here. I'm going to add a smidge, a few drops. Mix it in. Wow. It's a lot more moussey now like the Space Jams. That's amazing. Wow. That feels so much better. And it's not going on as thick anymore. <laughs> Guys, if your glitters dry out, all you have to do is add a couple drops of water and mix it in. And it's like brand spanking new. That's insane. Wow, now like I was kind of getting a little mad that they were drying out, but now that I know you can just add some water to revamp them, that's amazing. Like I said, I love these glitters and I think they're so perfect if you just want to, you know, up your game a little bit especially for festivals and concerts they're just so fun to play with you can rub them all over your body and they're so easy to get off just rub them a little bit under water and you're good to go all right that is it for my product review thank you so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you're just in love with these glitters as much as i am 
subscribe to my channel if you're not already and hit that notification button so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!